at the WSU Bookstore gift shop. I think it's about the same. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she asked, uh, are "You you getting ready for finals?" I said, "Well, I graduated ten years ago." She's like, "What?" I graduated two years ago. Oh, okay. And so I got telling her stories about my crazy roommates, including myself. She'd been having a bad day, so I needed some stories, I guess. And, uh, then, oh yeah, there's this huge uh, dinosaur skull, probably a replica, uh, outside of the bookstore. And um, then I went over to the library, WSU library, and the two-lane sidewalk. That um, was only one lane when they put it in. And uh, Dallas is the only staff member that's still here from when I was there. So I went up to his office and dragged him out in the hallway. And uh, told them agnostic, dyslexic, insomnia stays up all night, wondering if there's a dog. You've never heard that one before. And uh, yeah, I, had, I hadn't seen him since you know since I'd been going to school there. And uh, yeah, I mean it. it it's a lot different. I mean, there's there's big, huge Star Trek-like screens all over the place, blasting propaganda that weren't there when I was there. Um, there's laptops that students can um, check out that were uh, just becoming available as, well, soon after I graduated. When I was there, the, the computer lab was... Uh, you know, you might have to use three different computers to get a job done. <laughs> one of them, you know, the, the wouldn't have email. The next one wouldn't have a. It wouldn't work with the printer. And the next one, who knows, you know. So eventually, you get a project done. Then eventually, they swap those out for uh, new ones and had them under contract, and they're all the same. And I don't know. a lot different. Oh yeah, and then the, the Senate paid the uh, the uh, lab fees after that. After, after I graduated, when I was there, they had a thirty-five thousand dollar, thirty some odd thousand dollar surplus. I didn't know what to do with it. Well, they rolled it into a construction fund for the uh, lounge, the student lounge, and uh, yeah, well, you know. Things were a bit different, and old Cheryl was there, librarian. She was, uh, she took a class with me, and so I grabbed some uh, nuclear news that, um, well, I pulled all the, the Hanford articles out and any other waste management articles that were in the section. She gave me the the, one, the magazines that were over a year old, and. Um, so I told her about turn all wall and clean up and yeah, yeah. And uh Margaret, my mother, used to work at the university bookstore, U University of Southeast at Juno. And I was a senior in high school, so I just used it for processing, but um, not that I didn't play games, but um, very rarely. And uh, she she told me she said, "Yeah, my assistant's complaining about no guys asking her out." I said, "Oh boy, yeah, I am. like I've never heard this before." And so I strolled in there with my high school, you know, letterman's jacket. Ask her for a cup of coffee. And she says, no. Well, I don't know what she said, but it wasn't yes. <laughs> she wasn't rude or anything. But I was expecting that one. So 
I've done that several times over the years. I mean, they get rid of bull if I don't know them. Not if it's when I actually know them. I get all bucking knees and checking out them. Physical flying everywhere, but, you know. Um, oh, this is getting to be six minutes here.